What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. If you don't know that already, I love all things makeup and beauty. I am also a mother, so I apologize in advance for my children in the background. I also have a movie going on, you know, to appease the children, so I apologize for the background noise. Um, but today I am back with another tutorial, and I'm going to be using the Hank and Henry Living in Color palette, which looks like this. Super pretty palette. Um, honestly, I was expecting more colors, but I mean, it works, so that's awesome. Um, so if you want to see how I created this look, then please keep on watching. So I am going to start, as always, by priming my eyelid using the P. Louise base in the shade number two, just patting it on down. I'm going to start by taking this shade right here, and I'm going to take this on a fluffy brush and start to just work it in. So I'm just going to build the color, so I'm just going to place it all where I want it to be, and then when there's not really too much product left on it, I'm going to start to buff it in, blend it out. I really want to smoke this out because this is going to be the lightest shade that I use. So I really want it to be super blown out. So I'm just taking more, building the intensity back up, and then blending it out again. Next, I'm gonna go into this middle shade right here. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to pack the color essentially in the same place, but I won't blend it out as high. And I really want to deepen this up. So I'm going to do the same thing, pack the color down and blend it out. And the first thing that I notice right away is how easy these shadows blend together. It's like effortless. And they're just so smooth. I'm very impressed with the quality of this palette. Next, I'm going to take this shade right here at the end of the palette. Ignore my nail. So now I'm going to further deepen everything up, mainly focusing this dark color on the end here, because that's where I want it to be the most deep. And then I just buff those in together. I was going for a snake like ninja approach with a little hissing. So now that I am pretty satisfied with that blend, I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease, of course using the Peely's base once again. So the vibe that I'm going for here is I wanted a really shimmery lid. So I really cut the crease large. And then I'll take just a little bit of one of the darker shades to blend the base into the edge. And then I'm now going to take this shade right here. And this shade is so, so pretty. 
I swatched it and I was like, yes, that's, that needs to go on my eyeball. So I'm just gonna pack this shimmer down. Next, I'm going to take this dark shade right here and I'm just going to pat it down in the bottom of this. Not the bottom, the back. It's kind of going for like mermaid vibes here. So I'm just going to blend these colors all together and then I'm gonna take the darkest shade that I used to kind of just deepen the edge and re-blend that a little bit I'm now going to take my Hank and Henry eyeliner and this one is in blickety black Eyeliner is on. It looks, I mean, semi decent. <laughs> I'm off of eyeliner, so now I'm going to move ahead onto my face and then we'll come back and do lashes and the lash line. So, I also wanted to film doing my face makeup because I did pick up a couple of new things. So, I'm going to start by taking my Capri Antioxidant Dew, just to moisturize, so I just wipe my face off, the baby wipes, just gonna moisturize. Okay, and then so I did pick up the e.l.f. Putty Primer. So this one's the original, and then I also picked up the Luminous one. In my last video, I thought it was the Luminous one, but it was actually the original. So I wanted to try out the Luminous one today. Kind of has like a gold shift to it. I could see the luminosity. Whenever I purchase a foundation, I always choose this one, the L'Oreal Paris Infallible one. But I never could get my shade just right. So I went and picked up another one. And I think I may have got the correct one this time. So I'm just going to... Alright, so that is like, I would say probably light coverage, which is why I like it because um, sometimes I like to let my freckles shine through, but I also wanted to try out the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. Oh, it's light enough. I'm going to now set my face using my Cody Airspun Translucent Extra Coverage Powder. <laughs> I'm 
going to take my silhouette, my my Makeup Shack Silhouette Contour Palette, which looks like this. I dug my finger into it last time. This Elmar Cosmetics brush, it's the, what is it? The bronzer brush. Super duper nice. It's like so soft and it just blends everything out so evenly. We already got Burger King, pal. So I'm just gonna take this and warm up my face. Hopefully stop looking like a ghost. And then I'm gonna take the three light shades at the top, just in the same brush. And just kind of blend all those colors together. I feel like this really smooths out my complexion. Just makes the makeup look more blended. All right, now I'm going to take my note blush in Desert Rose. And I'm just going to add some color to my cheeks. Okay, so I just zoomed in a little bit for the eyes. But I'm gonna do my under eyes really quickly. And I'm gonna start by taking the darkest brown shade. And blending it close to my lash line. And then I'm gonna take that light shade and just buff that out. So for lashes, I'm gonna be taking these Beauty Creation lashes and this one is in Drip Drip. Looks like that, super pretty. Okay, so I just um, actually added some um, gel liner and then I smoked it out a little bit and some mascara. So now I'm going to apply these lashes. Lashes are on. So now I'm going to take my Hank and Henry highlighter, and this one is in Glow Bandit. And I'm going to put it into my inner corner, brow bone, and also my face. Not in my face, but on my face. I'm just going to go ahead and take this Bodyography Barely There Lip Pencil and I'm going to put this gloss on top. Alrighty, that is it for this tutorial. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. I really hope that you enjoy this look that I created. Hey! Shh. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this look that I created. There will be plenty more where that came from. And we are all done here, so we're going to go ahead and roll the clip.